Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The other one is a usability issue. And that's my three point hitch here. It's fantastic, right? I mean, it's in, I've got some broken, the broken chains right there. That's no big deal. The problem though is the height. And I think I'm not the first person to have to try to deal with this, right? So let's get a measurement on here. Right now from the ground, I'm at about 11 and a half inches. So I did some research online and it says that the maximum, how do they phrase that? The maximum low point above the ground for a category one three point hitch is about eight and a half inches. So I'm, I'm four inches high right there already. Now to add insult to injury, I've got these links in here, right? The more I look at those links, the more I think they did that just to lower these three point arms down. If you look at this, they welded that. They tried to weld these links to these top arms on both sides. I'd take credit for that if that was me, but it wasn't me. And so I'm gonna throw, throw whoever did that right under the bus because oh, there's just no way that would work. It, there's the the lines of force, the vector forces that are going through those those plates they put on there, they're just there's just no way with the amount of leverage and, and uh, torque that you're putting on those arms under their operation that that kind of a weld operation would work. So what I want to do is remove these plates. But if I do that, move this up to connect straight to there, which I've seen in the pictures on. Let's take a peek behind the curtain. I've got my lift arms here, right? The, the power arms. They've each got a bolt holding them on. Let's find out what's behind curtain number two. Let's, uh, let's, un let's take that bolt out. This looks like a dust cap to me. Let's see if I can... Oh yeah, look at that. That's coming off. All right. Maybe that's more of a rust cap. <laughs> I kill me. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Okay, we've got a spline shaft here. Good news, bad news, I don't know. It all depends on if there's any keys or any specific spots in that spline. that allow me to rotate that. I tell you what, looks to me like this is a regular old spline shaft. Other than being rusty, I don't see any special splines, any blanks in there that are gonna prevent me from just driving this, driving this arm off and repositioning it. This, this might work. This rust might have something to do with, uh, you know, my plans for the day, but hey, you know, it's all right. We'll get it. We'll start with the old reliable, the old standby. We'll take off that other one while we're at it. Yeah, I think this might work, guys. Well, this is kind of lame. My, uh, my bolt here is impinging on my flow control. So I've got to take off this flow. This arm's coming off fairly easily. So I'll be able to get this arm. I'm just going to knock this arm off, drop this down till it's basically dragging the ground almost maybe. And, uh, then I can cinch that back up. Then I've got some work to do on this other side to get it cleaned up enough to be able to pull off. So it's all right. Well, that went easier than I thought on the one side. Check out the difference. Check out that arm compared with that arm. Taking out the uh, extension here and just directly bolted it. It 
enjoy that bolt and single shear for a little while, okay? We'll get to that. My height from the floor. We're right there. We're right at that eight and a half inches or so, that nine inches. That spec, that's where it's supposed to be. We're not making contact with anything to the full range of motion. Full range of motion, no contact. So I'm going to drive this arm off, put this so the arm so they're in parallel, drop this off. For right now, I'm going to run these in single shear. I'm not going to run them with any kind of any kind of a weight load on there or even a pulling load. Although it's the weight load that we have to worry about on these top arms, not the pulling load. There's no forces pulling realistically. Well, well no, we can do a free body. Nope, there's no forces pulling on that in the uh, when I'm just pulling with the three point. Um, it's all going to be in the lifting. I'll have to figure out a way to put bolts in double shear in here rather than single shear, right? I've got this weight acting as a lever on this this arm. So so I've got all this torsion on there. Whereas here, it's just pulling straight down. For the strength of this hardware, this is superior. But you can't have that floppiness in there. Probably just going to take some new um, new arms here. I, you know, I'm thinking about it. This right here is what I saw online. Single shear, just like that. Engineering wise, that's not the right way to go. So I'll have to decide. I might just pick up some inexpensive uh, three point lift arms and swap those in there, so that I can put that into uh, double shear and call it good and then i'll just put these off to the side as uh as takeoffs for now i'll have to think about that but for right now let's get drive this arm off let's um <laughs> Guys, this is kicking my butt. Holy cow. I got this arm moved over in maybe maybe an hour tops. And I've been working on this arm for about 10 hours. And I don't even have it. I haven't moved it at all. So here's the latest attempt. I've got my arm pulling device right here. Little jack's going to go in there. A little six ton jack. I wanted to get my 12 ton in there, but to do that would take, a, uh, I'd have to take the tire off and we'll try the six ton. It might not be enough. Um, we're going to see what happens.
want to break my jack unless I'll just put a spacer in there that should work give, give me a second Got it back on, in position. Everything seems to be, um, seems to be functional. So I'm gonna go rake some hay, and uh, then go eat some ice cream. It's a hot one, boy, I tell ya. It's been a good day. Nothing like a two day job for a, well, two hour job that takes two days, but, but we got her done. Everything's um, back together. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. Let's fire it up, give it a function test. And then let me go rake some hay. Yeah. 